right then, where are we? How do you say it? Mugion Rim, Arizona. Okay. What is the Mugion Rim? Uh, it's a geologic feature that separates us from a town called Young, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, if it is similar to the Grand Canyon with the Colorado just over, um, chewing away at it over the centuries. We hope to get a little more information here at the Mugion Visitor Center. Ooh, lots of wind today. I have seen other videos where folks are expressing how windy it is. Mugion Rim Vista. All the peaks named there. It's really windy, but super quiet. Really beautiful. Just had some people asking us uh, about why the campgrounds are closed, and we're like, we don't know. We don't live here. <laughs> Sure, I don't drop the GoPro down the cliff. Just lost my hat. So we are about to head out on Caution Unpaved Road, which is also known as the Old Rim Road, Muggy and Canyon. So this is an old road that runs along the rim of the canyon, and uh, you can hike it, you can drive it, they say you can drive it just about any vehicle, but it's better if you have a high clearance four-wheel drive, which luckily we do have. Dan, are you excited for a little yeah. unpaved road excursion? Yeah. We saw a wild horse and there were some mule deer. We have not seen an elk, so let's see what else is that. Yeah. People have reported seeing elk and black bear wild horses and all kinds of cool stuff on this old rim road. It is, all trails says it's 43.5, a few reviews I was reading said 45 miles, um, takes about two and a half to two hours, 45 minutes, and we have a full tank of gas, we have a carload of snacks and water, and an adventurous spirit. We're pretty ready to go. We'll be opening up the windows and uh, probably won't be talking too much in this video. I might do some voiceover because there's going to be a lot of wind noise because I prefer to ride with the windows down. Should be a pretty good.
grow. But oh my gosh, this is so incredibly beautiful. Worth the drive. There's Dan's butt. What'd you find? A bunch of trash up here. Oh my goodness. What caliber is it, Dan? I think it's for an AK. Huh. Plans and probably plan on camping out here a couple nights 
because we didn't realize that when we uh, made our reservations in a packed campground that you could drive yourself out here and camp more remotely. So we're going to do that.